we're going to the bookstore. I always have to get a little drinky drink before I go on a bookstore trip. It's an essential, it's a necessity. My bookstore trip would not be complete without a little drinkity drinkity. Like today we're in a little bit of a different setting. Today is a little bit of a different video. We're not in my room today. Today we're out and we're active and we're going to the bookstore. We're going on a Barnes and Noble run and honestly, I'm really excited. This is my first trip to Barnes and Noble in a while. Not necessarily a reason for it, but I just haven't gone in a while. So we're gonna go to the bookstore today. I'm gonna take you guys with me. The goal for today is to get a good handful of books for a book video I'm hoping to do at some point soon. We have a few specific books that we're looking for today. We'll see if that actually happens. We'll see if we actually get the books we're looking for. We'll see if we actually get what we came in for. Maybe, maybe not. It's really a gamble. It's really all a gamble. You know, you, you never know what you're gonna get. So let's go. the book sweats we did some damage we did some damage um my bank account is probably crying just a little bit but we got it done um so we're gonna go home and do a little mini book haul so i'll see you there we are back at my humble home and I have some books to show you. I have some books to show you. I'm really excited. I didn't get every single book that I was looking for. They didn't have some of them in store. So I just went with the couple that I got, but I'm really excited to show you. I'm planning on hopefully making a reading vlog of some of the books I got. So hopefully that'll be up within the next couple weeks, but we'll see because your girl has a day job, so. The first book I got is Priest by Sierra Simone. I have heard a lot about this series recently. I've heard a lot of people say that these books are just straight smut, and then I've heard a lot of people say that these books actually have a really good plot and storyline to them, so I'm excited to see for myself what this book entails. Um, I read the synopsis, and honestly, I don't know how to feel because I've never heard of or read a book that is remotely similar to this or anything that the synopsis said. So I'm excited to see what this book is all about. Hopefully the smut is good. Hopefully there's a good storyline. Hopefully it's both. So we'll see. Next I got Promises and Pomegranates by Sav Miller. Look, guys. Look at this cover. Like, are you choking? Like, so pretty, so pretty. I don't know what it is about a Hades and Persephone retelling that's gonna get me every single time. 
but this is I think my third book that I've read that is a Hades and Persephone retelling and every single time it hits every single time it's good I don't know what it is about it it just it just there's nothing there's nothing that hits better than a book about Hades and Persephone like I just can't stress that enough so I have really really high hopes for this book hopefully it's good I've heard good things about it so we'll see this next book is probably one of my most <laughs> anticipated books so far this year I wanted to read it last year but I just never got the chance to it just wasn't necessarily at the top of my list last year because last year is when I got back into reading so I wanted to eat up all the cute little romances that I could but this next book is Credence by Penelope Douglas um I hear a lot about Penelope Douglas. I hear a lot about her books, not just Credence, but like Birthday Girl, like like her books are just, I would say her books are really well known for the smut and the taboo aspect of her writing. But I've heard so much about this book. I've heard people talk and talk and talk and talk about this book. And I'm so excited to read it. I just, I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to read it and see what it's about. I'm not really, like, I, I love a good spicy read. But I'm not really, like, a taboo kind of girl. I'm not a taboo kind of girl. So we'll see what this one is about. And then the last book I got was Most of All You by Mia Sheridan. I absolutely freaking love Mia Sheridan. Mia Sheridan is like, she's just perfect. Her writing is perfect. Like, she's just perfect. I love her. Like, I read Archer's Voice last year. Archer's Voice was the very, very first book that I picked up when I decided to get back into reading. And, and when I tell you, it was the best decision I've ever made. I loved Archer's Voice so much. And I feel like there I haven't read a romance yet that compares to Archer's Voice. So I, again, have really, really high hopes for this book. I've heard a lot about this book. Steph Bohr recommended this book and I love Steph Bohr like I watch every single one of her videos like and I trust her recommendations so so much so I'm really really excited to read this one. Alrighty guys that was all the books that I picked up today on our little trip on our little field trip. Thank you so much for coming along with me this was actually kind of a really different video and hopefully I did good hopefully you guys liked it if you did like and comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next week bye